Super Mario Odyssey is a game about a giant beast that forces a woman into a loveless marriage and a tiny Italian with a demonic hat that can possess the souls of the living. It's also a kid's game. All my life I've taken Mario for granted. He's always been there, he's always been solid, but there've been other games, newer games, flashier games that catch my eye. I found myself thinking, yeah, Super Mario Odyssey looks good, but it's just Mario. And then I played Odyssey, and I remembered how goddamn incredible just Mario can be. At first glance, Super Mario Odyssey just looks like a prettier version of Mario 64. The twist here is that you team up with Cappy, who is an alien hat. So that sounds dumb, right? Well, it is. Until you realize that Cappy lets you control almost every living being in the game. Cappy lets you become a Goomba, a Bullet Bill, a tank, a T-Rex, a caterpillar, your dad. It's a revelation. It's perfect. Ah, it's almost perfect. It might be the hat making me say this, but the camera is a bit shit. For all the things they took from Mario 64, I certainly wish they left the camera back in the 90s. It doesn't always do what you want it to, and it messes with your depth perception, which means you're just gonna fall to your death. It's by no means a game breaker, but they have had 21 years to get it right. The story is the same old Mario trash it always is. Bowser kidnaps Peach, this time he's forcing her to marry him or something. I mean, it does the job, but just in the laziest way possible. Whether it's controlling shy statues whose sunglasses reveal hidden paths, stretchy caterpillars that let you weave your way through otherwise unreachable areas, or duking it out in clever, varied boss battles, every kingdom forces you to play in new and surprising ways. And the real trick is you never feel overwhelmed despite how much game there is. There's so many kingdoms, so many secrets, so many hidden moons that power the sail of your magical hat ship. I know, it's dumb, just roll with it. But it never feels unmanageable. Every time you enter a level, it feels like the end is just around the corner. But between you and it, there's like 20 power moons that you will find. And then there's another 20 that you'll probably find on your second playthrough. And then there's like 10, which you'll see someone find on YouTube and you'll think, where could they possibly have hidden those? I hate to interrupt this compliment orgy, but I should point out that the game's insistence of using motion controls for advanced hat moves is incredibly annoying, particularly in handheld mode. Waggling my $400 Switch around like I'm Rex Hunt getting my line snagged is no way to play a video game. Super Mario Odyssey is a reminder why, after 36 years, Mario is still the mascot of our hobby. It is joy and surprise and challenge and delight, all wrapped up in a mind control hat worn by a little man in his boxes. Play this if you own a Switch. If you don't own a Switch, buy a Switch. Super Mario Odyssey is a must play. Yeah, what he said.